always tell you uh, Hell in, Hell in a Cell, H I A C, I guess, 16 match versus Roman Reigns uh, from would have been the best ending to any Hell in a Cell if you had choked him out with the chin of the steel step on the chain on the steel steps. That was the ep the apex and such a beautiful part of the match. Love from Germany. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I read that very bad. I just wanted to always tell you, the Hell in a Cell 16 match versus Roman Reigns from, okay, I guess this is just a little different language. Uh, you have been the best ending in Hell in a Cell if you choked him on the, on the stairs with a chain. That was apex and such a beautiful part of the match. Okay, got it. Dude, thank you for the donation. Thank you very much, man. Um, I, that was, I think, that was one of my favorite matches of all time, to be honest. Uh, there were, I always, 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 always wanted to have a Hell in a Cell match. And I was just, when I was told that I'm going to have that match, I was just such in awe. I was such a, like, I was like, man, this is where men play, you know? This is not, this is not a, you know, because all the matches that you remember, that I remember Hell in a Cell were just like men two grown men just just doing the best they can and it doesn't matter how much it hurts and it's all about just violence and but at the same time it's got to make sense and the story and everything i was really a huge fan of that match so uh when i get the opportunity to work with roman i was really really excited about it and i went back and watched as far as i remember i watched pretty much all of the matches uh, all of the cage matches and trying to get ideas and trying to get inspirations um, and I used a couple of spots from different, uh, matches, like I think, uh, but I made it my own because at the same time I couldn't steal, not steal, but borrow what they did. But I remember on the mat in a match that I think it was Randy and, and John, I think uh, Randy tied him up in the ropes, uh, but then choked him out for the win. But I knew we couldn't do that. Uh, so I, you know, it was the idea of me tying him up. And then just beating him up with a candlestick, then you know him breaking through, and of course, like Superman, the shit out of me, and all that. Um, but yeah, that match was so great, man. For me, it was one of my personal highlights. Um, and I'm going in the story because you know you were kind enough, you know you donated, and you were so kind for the finish. But you know we knew we had the chain. Also, we had a lot of restrictions because we knew we had like two more Hell in a Cell matches after us. You know, we had Owens, I think, and, and Owens and, was it Rollins, I think, and they had the women's match as well, the main event. So they kind of had to split everything. They couldn't, you know, they only gave us, you can only use uh, Candlestick. They, you couldn't use anything else because then they gave them the other people like different things, you know. So, so there can be different matches, which I understand. Uh, so we had to do the most of it. And that's why we did the whole candlestick situation. And I knew I had the chain from using it before with John, with, with Cena. So I decided, you know, to bring it back. I thought it was going to be a cool thing. And it did end up cool. And I knew th what the finish was. And I thought it was be very nice. Of, I think the visual would have been and also believable of that could have been the finish. And also the, the visual, it would have been nice. Uh, my original idea, what I wanted to do was actually spear from the steps through the cage outside but uh we were not allowed to do that <laughs> and uh um unfortunately but hey it's okay the finish went great um everything went great there's not a one thing that went bad in that match Except that, oh, I hurt the, one of the cameraman's foot. <laughs> That's the only thing. Uh, when I had the stairs on the outside and I threw them at, at, at Joe, at Roman, I think he hit them and they fell down and they kind of bounced around and hit Rico, one of the camera guy, right in the shin. Um, that's not a good experience because they're heavy stairs and they're very, very edgy. Um, but, yeah, as far as that match, that that's... That's pretty much the story. If you have any other questions, please. Um, 
okay, nobody's writing anything. I guess I put everybody to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, and some chatters. It is me, it is me, it is me, me, Roslav. What happened to everybody? We have 250 people and there's nobody typing. You really don't care about me? You really don't care about typing anymore? My story is putting you to sleep? What? The tag team partnership will be here three to four weeks? That's wow. Is cereal a soup? That's that's not no, of course it's not. Siri, it's not Siri, it's cereal. Um Oh yeah. Uh I think Germany has the best bread, honestly. Every time I go there, I cannot help it. And 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 trying different things, but I think from all the countries I've been into, I as far as I remember, I think Germany has the best bread in the world because they have so many different types and so many different varieties, and they're all so good. In other countries, I can't think of any other country that has a good bread. To be honest, England had a decent bread. But Germany, though. Germany is definitely the country. Um, yeah, I don't know who else. French? I don't know. I have no... I, I can't remember particularly anything special about France. Uh, about bread in France. Um, is this month tag team partner going to count with you being off stream for two weeks? What does that mean? It don't matter, man. I'm here. Week or two, it doesn't matter. You know, like the story in the Bible. They pay the same amount of money, the person that worked all day, and the one that came at the end. You're gonna get your you're gonna get your shirt if you're if you're my phone's turned off. Um, has Otito ever go, uh, got into the ring? Yeah, yeah. Otito came into the ring. He was, him and my mom came to visit me, uh, WrestleMania 30, uh, 32 in Dallas. And uh, we were at the hotel and they have a few practice rings in the hotel. So, uh, he came in the ring. And, you know, my brother is a big fan. He We used to watch together wrestling. Uh, so it was very interesting for him to come and, like, take, a, you know, fall in the ring and hit the ropes and trying to lift the stairs. And even uh, he never told me anything about it, though, until the other day he was telling somebody else. He was like, man, you think it's no joke? He says he was trying to explain how heavy the stairs are. And he said... Even when he hit the ropes, the, every, the one time or whatever he hit the ropes, his back was hurting from the ropes. And it's true. If you've never hit the ropes in the ring before, even me, if I, if I was to have a surgery or, or something, you've been off for a few months, and if you hit the ropes, you're always going to have the marks. Always your back is going to be sore. Every single time until probably a month end, and then your back just adjusts to it, and it doesn't hurt anymore. Um, but it was very interesting for him to experience the ring and the ropes and to see how um, how real and how hard it is. And also, you know, I let him, like, pin me. And, you know, he even, like, uh, got the leg up and all that. It was very interesting. Oh, yeah, look at that.
see that? Oh. That's my brother. Doing the job once again. But we had fun. We had fun. I, you know, this is something that I've never really could imagine, man. This is me and my brother watching wrestling in 1996. And here we are in 2018 or whatever it was. We are, we are in the ring wrestling with each other in a professional ring, just having fun because I was blessed enough to actually be in that company. It's just like, just when you think about it, it's just what? Like how? You know, it's just so blessed, man. So blessed. So blessed. You know, these are things that you don't even think about back then. Like, how would you think that, hey, brother, hey, El Tito, in 20 years from now, we're going to be in the ring playing around with each other? Like, wh why would you? You can't even think of that. So even just being there, man, that, that was just, that memory is so special to me. It's just so special.